Hey guys, welcome back to the Think About It podcast. I'm Nisi. I am so excited to have a safe space to speak our truth or to find it. So come on in for however long I have you here or however long I have your ear. Now let's think about it. another episode of the think about a podcast with your girl Nisi who it's your girl in the building today we here listen y'all I'm not even gonna lie to y'all <laughs> listen I am trying my hardest to put on my my creative voice this morning okay because listen hmm, hmm, hmm. your girl is extremely sleepy okay I am still sleeping right now as I speak. Um, y'all, I should do this. This is how y'all know I'm still asleep. Because y'all know I ain't had to do this in a while. You know, I'm typically already prepared and ready to go. But welcome back, you guys, to another episode of the Think About a Podcast with your girl, Nisi. What's popping? What's good? What's, what's, what's really good? Poo. Mm-hmm. You already know this is a Friday if you are listening listening on pod. I am your girl is coming through with the consistency and the bliss the what the bliss the disciplinary girl, okay? Because if you're watching this on podcast, didn't even know that was a thing. Podcast, you know, because it's on video and it's but it's still a cast, you know, podcast. So they say a podcast. Mm-hmm. So if you're listening to this on podcast, honey, you are definitely here on a beautiful Monday morning. What's popping poo? Well, it's good. Welcome, everybody. So that means that you're either ending your week with the pod or you're beginning your week with the pod. Hello, somebody. Look at that. What's good, y'all? All right, y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Listen, for real, I'm not. Like I said, I'm hella sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I am sleep. I'm still sleepy. I'm looking at y'all. I'm talking to y'all. But I'm still, I'm in my bed. I'm wrapped up. Comfortable. Com- comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'm like under the, the that under sheet that, you know what I'm saying, the... The, the, what do you call that? The, the sheet of the bed. And I'm also under my comforter. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm comfy. I'm all under there. You know what I'm saying? I got my pillow still cuffed under my neck. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, y'all. Maybe, I don't know where I got this thing from, but I hold my pillow. That's probably because I ain't got no man, honey. So I got to hold on to something. So I'm literally still in bed holding on to my pillow tight, sleep, knocked out, snoring, drool every memorial okay i promise y'all so bear with me this morning y'all um i'm still getting my thoughts together you know look in my eyes i feel like i still like literally if you know i know myself so i know that i still got sleepy eyes my lip in the mornings are always like um it swells in the morning and i love that i love my lip in the morning my lip be looking like mm, like i got fillers ho. i hate that it goes down but right now my lip looks are very much puffy i have nothing on my lip this morning so good morning how you doing okay um y'all let's just go ahead and jump straight into it i am drinking some water because like i said i literally just woke up and i tell you i roll out the bed put on some makeup and this is very it for real for real i ain't done my hair you know what i'm saying like i had i, rec- I curled it um yesterday for tiktok so i just took the belt on and off boom here we go here we at okay so cheers i'm drinking some water but y'all i know i ain't been hanging hanging um with y'all for a while you know what i'm saying just getting loose you know what i'm saying rip me out the plastic vibes you know what i'm saying so today we got some alcohol it is first thing in the morning but <clears throat> you know what i'm saying we acting bad this is we acting bad this summertime so let's get it let's go but let's drink some water first y'all mm-hmm And whilst I pour this wine, y'all, let me tell y'all how sore my body is. Yes, my body. My body. My body is sore. My, ooh, that sounds like booty, but y'all know my body is sore. Like, for real, for real. <sighs> y'all, I've been in the gym. So proud of myself. Very disciplined. Very, staying very productive. Uh, I'm not going to give myself too much. Because you know when you give yourself too much, then the next day you fall off. You're like, girl, now you said that for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give myself a little tap on my back. I ain't going to do too much. Um... 
So I've been in the gym consistently for, um, so here's my schedule. My schedule goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. My weekend for my workout day would be Thursday and Friday. Then I go back in on a Saturday and I finish off, basically, right? Um, I'm now, y'all, at the point of actually transforming my body. Um, and I just love, I just love, I just love, I love the way, um, I just love what discipline looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like, any, when you're, you're disciplined in something and you see the results from it, it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm just in this headspace where I'm just like, Truly, truly focused, um, and I just pray to God that I stay this way in Jesus' name. So, y'all, when I tell y'all my body is so sore this morning, girl, listen. God himself literally moved me out of that bed and put me inside this chair. Because ain't no way I got up this morning, okay? Today is Thursday. Um, yesterday was my last day, so today is basically like my weekend from the gym. When I tell y'all, my body is sore. Um, it was my glute week, so you know I did Monday, Tuesday glute. I did yesterday core because I don't want to kind of like leave no part of my body action. Even though it's not like a, a core week for me, I still want to hit it. So when I go into the gym next week, you know I'm not like feeling, you know, weak or you know, um, just I don't have that push to kind of do it. So. Um, yesterday I did core, so basically my entire body is hurting right now. Dead serious, honey. My my entire body is 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 sore, and on top of that, I upped my weights this week. So, girl, let's get into the topic, okay? Hmm. So, topic of the day, y'all, is taking advice from single friends. Taking advice from single friends, child. That's the topic. With that being said, this is gonna be a little. This is what might be short, might be long. I don't know how it's going to be, but it's going to be a lot. So, with that being said, honey, wherever you at, whatever you're doing, cheers. Hmm. Clean, clean. Mm -mm. Look me in my eyes. Cause I just remember that. Y'all, look me in my eyes. Look me in my eyes. If y'all um on podcasts and y'all listening to this, um, look at yourself in y'all eyes. Because I don't want y'all to have bad sex. I damn sure don't want to have bad sex. Like, ugh. Bitch, I ain't really having no sex. So come on now. You think I'm finna go from not, not having sex to having bad sex? Mm -mm. Stare me in my eyes. I'm talking, don't even blink. I don't give a goddamn if a feather come in there right now. Ooh, start it over. Just go. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She is. My eyes is watering. I don't care. Because I'm not doing it. So, like I said, taking advice from single friends, y'all. That is the topic of the day. Y'all, child, I've been hearing this. This this whole thing, this whole topic, this whole conversation, this 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 I don't know what do you call that? This this thing that goes around, not even just in the black community, honey, in the community, just this this you know world period. There are people say is you know they don't take advice from single people, they don't take advice from their single friends. You know what I'm saying? If you're single, you can't talk to me, you can't tell me nothing. And um, I feel like sometimes you know the reasons. You know it can be appropriate you know what i'm saying like it can be some good reasons why you know what i'm saying people don't take advice you know what i'm saying or the reason why this is a thing you know because sometimes they have experiences where you know the advice came from friends that cheated right so if your friend is a cheater you calling your friend you telling your friend you know about what's going on in your household you know what i'm saying your friend is a cheater your friend you know probably and I feel like the men in, in the relationship in the relationships um, and vice versa, that's who they know. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, a lot of times in, in our relationship, especially me, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I be pillow talking. And that's and that I feel like that's something I, I've learned um in my past relationship when it comes to um when it comes to my man, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, you know, don't kind of think me like the family. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you when you have an incident or something that goes on in your personal, in your in your intimate, your romantic relationship, people be like, don't go back and tell your family because once you tell your family, especially like you know your your mom, your your immediate family, automatically like now, you know when you when you bring your significant other. They giving them side eyes and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because you done told your family what the people, what this man done did or this lady done did. So now they like, mm -mm, I don't like you, you know what I'm saying? So kind of the same thing in, um, you know, in your friendships 
where, you know, we pull up talk, we lay up, and we just be telling our friends, you know, telling our man everything. You know what I'm saying? Because at, you know, like me, I'm one of those persons, like, my man is like my, you know, like my man, my man, my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I tell my man, I'm just, I don't know where that comes from, but I just, I'm very open. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no, I, I'm, I always say, like, I don't want nobody to ever come back and be able to go back. I used to, used to say this, like, when I was young, like, when I was a child. Um, I used, I, growing up, didn't think I was, like, such a bad kid because when, I, like, you don't have to worry about nobody coming and being like, oh, Miss Major, I seen Tanisha down the street, or oh, she at this party, whatever, mm -mm, cause guess what, I done told you. Even though if I'm not supposed to go, I'm still finna tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, you better not come at this house to whoop your ass, I'm just gonna get my ass whooped because... I told you, like, I would just been all, I always been that person where I'm going to, at least I told you, like, if something was to happen, whatever, like, nobody gonna ever get the last say, like, no, or say, oh, like, you, you want up on me, I just, that was just my thing, you can never want up me, because, baby, I'm gonna tell, so, that was me, so, again, when it came down to, like, my, you know, my friendships, I would go and pillow talk, you know, so, like I said, long story short, that's something I learned to not, child leave leave some leave some in the box okay leave it in the box tape it back up you ain't gotta put you ain't gotta dump all that out ain't nobody even asked you to dump all that out okay keep some of that sand inside that damn box honey okay where it belongs okay so yeah so like i said i feel like a lot of times you know like we would have conversations and you know, where we're just talking, you know, about our friend, you know, what our man, and, you know, we be like, yeah, well, she cheated or something like that. And the minute, you know, and especially, especially men who are like gaslighters or, you know, manipulative, manipulative people or, you know, narciss narcissistic men, they would hang on and hold on to that for the very, for the right moment. Like, oh, she a cheater? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, you know, so if your friend cheat, you know what I'm saying? Like, if your friend is like a, a, um, a habitual cheater, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl can't stop. I wouldn't take advice from that bitch either. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, respectfully. Like, <laughs> sis, get your life together, leave me alone, for real. <laughs> stop playing in my face, you know? Um, another reason or, you know, a good reason a person, you know, friends probably won't take advice is um, your friend seen you in your last relationship, right? So your friend seen how you how you care with your last relationship he she probably seen how you know she watched how that man that walked all over you you know what i'm saying like like she see how the man walked on you like <laughs> she seen that man walk all over you like like the million man march honey you know what i'm saying she she seen that thing honey like the macy parade girl you know she seen him and then you know, now you, you, you know what I'm saying? Now, because you, you, you owe the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Or because you ain't got the nigga no more. Now nah, you just splurring out your horrible ass advice. You know what I'm saying? And who want to take advice from somebody who done been trampled? I mean, trampled over. Okay? Like a elephant in the safari. Nobody want to take advice from you. Nobody taking advice from you, who? Okay, just to let you know, I get that. I can understand why nobody want to take advice. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't mean that you didn't learn. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I feel like it's also a time period thing too. You know, like you just left that nigga a month ago. <laughs> you just left that nigga three months ago. It depends on how long y'all been together too. And you know, your friends know you. Your friends know when, you know, like you over the nigga or, you know what I'm saying? She just mad right now. So, you know what I'm saying? So... Now she want to give me advice, so I can get that. You know what I'm saying? Another reason, um, a good reason, you know, why people don't take advice would be um, your friend sees it's coming from a hurt place. You know what I'm saying? Like your friend know that you not healed. Your friend know that, you know what I'm saying, you not over this nigga because when you get on the phone, all you talk about is this nigga. Oh. But you want to come and tell me about my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, get over the nigga that left you or, you know what I'm saying, it ain't work out. And then maybe we can have this conversation. But I know, you know what I'm saying? I know, girl, that's all you talk about. Every time you get on the phone, that's all you conversate about. 
You get what I'm saying? We could be talking about um, the submersible that just went down and you find a way to bring him up. Girl, like, it's so crazy. I remember this one time, you know, I know it's a submersible, but, you know, Anthony, we had went to Subway. Like, girl, we not even, that's not even the same thing. Like, <laughs> go heal yourself. Go sit down, leave me alone. Get off my phone. Get off my phone. Oh, okay. So I can get that. I can get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but we poo. I ain't taking no advice from you, sweetheart. It's not giving that. It's never giving that. Another reason I wrote was, um, um, you know your friend flaws. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know your friend flaws. You know those things where it's like, you know those things where your friend is not healed, right? And the space that she comes from in her relationship is not a healthy place. Um, and it's probably things that she probably could have worked out with her pro with her partner, but she is um, probably entitled or, you know what I'm saying? She's holding on to this trauma or, you know what I'm saying? She has this, 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 um, place where she is coming from a convenient spot, right? So how she reacts in her relationship, you know, it. you know your friend. So you know those spots, you know those areas, and you know why it didn't work out. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I don't want to take advice from you because, um, sis, I know you need to do the work. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, when it comes down to people that say, you know, well, I don't take advice from negative people, I said all that to say, I feel like it depends on who it's coming from and where it's coming from, right? Um, I feel like everybody is not, everybody who's single don't have the same perspective, um, don't have the same perspective period of relationships, right? Um, I feel that everybody who is single should not be giving advice on relationships, right? Um, but, but like I said, with that being said, kind of going kind of, I guess going on the other side of it is I personally, I, I kind of have this, this, this little ugh under my neck when people say, Oh, I don't, I don't take advice. But at the same point of time, of course I get why people say that. Um, because I feel like my thing is, is if you're coming from a place of heal, if you're coming from a place of, um, you're aware and you've done the work, you get what I'm saying? Um, single or not, right? But, you know, sometimes, too, you know, like how people say, you know, when you are in a situation, what another person can see, you can't see. And when a person is healed, right, on top of not being necessarily in the room or, you know, seeing it from a different standpoint, and it is, this is my friend, right, I would want to take that person advice. Um, and y'all know, I feel like advice opinions kind of the same. It's like assholes. Everybody have one. And I look at, at advice and opinions like, like, you know, eat the meat, spit out the bones. If it works for you, take it. And if it don't throw it out. Right. So for me, um, I think I'm at a place or I've, I've learned that, you know, it depends on where the, where the information is coming from, where the message or where the opinion is coming from. Right. Um, and then I had to learn too, that sometimes, you know, people love to, you know, mention, they love to mention, child, don't take advice. You better know, no, I'm not taking no advice from no, from no woman that's single, no man that's single. Right. But nobody ever mentioned, you know, how you, how toxic people or toxic relationships or toxic people in relationship shouldn't be given advice to single people bitch let's talk about that and i ain't want to curse but i just felt like it was perfect right there that bitch right there that 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 was that was a one that was that that just went the solid you know like yeah yeah everybody love to talk about oh you don't don't take advice from a single person don't take advice from single y'all toxic ass unhealed ass relationships where all the bullshit is going on y'all need to stop giving advice to a single bitch is what y'all need to stop doing because i ain't taking it especially a healed single girl it's not giving that you know what i'm saying it's never getting that so let's talk about um negative reasons why people mention you know why you shouldn't take advice from single people i feel like one of the main negative reasons is you know because men or you know the person is gaslighting you typically i don't want to sound um what's that word um bias i guess but you know typically it's typically the men that be gaslighting the fuck 
out of females. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, that bitch, she, that bitch, she, that, that bitch is a hoe. She a hoe. That girl's a hoe. She wild. She, that girl be, um, um, talking to this, talking Tom, Dick, and Harry, da, 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 so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Look at that girl dress, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be gaslighting the fuck out of you for you to be like, uh-uh, you shouldn't take advice from this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember, like, I had, um, a relationship with, um, and I remember how I had a relationship and, I think too is also a like I remember in this situation where something hit, shit hit the fan, and he had said to me, um, "You you need you might want to stop mentioning her. You might want to stop mentioning her because she was the one that was um she was the one that was all in the middle of it. Basically, kind of like you know telling I don't want to say it all, but." She was basically in the middle, kind of like playing both ends. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, my friend got my back. You know what I'm saying? And he was talking to somebody that he was messing around with somebody that my friend knew as well. So she was kind of like playing both ends of the fence. You get what I'm saying? So when it came back to me, and I'm like, wait, like, but at, at the moment, at that time, I'm not going to lie to you, I was like, not my friend. Like you, boy, child, you sleep. Like no, baby, you, 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 hella sleep. Could never be my friend. Never her. She would never do nothing like that. But at the same point in time, like I said, the more or the older I got into the situation, you know, I went back. And I'm like, hmm. But did this bitch do this? You know what I'm saying? That's another thing too. I guess you can put that on a, you know, on a, you know, maybe the good reason, another good reason why people don't take advice because sometimes your friend could be a sneaky, conniving ass chick that don't want to see you happy. You get what I'm saying? Or have our own little personal vendetta against you, right? And, you know, she just basically trying to, you know, she can't wait for your downfall. But on the other end of that, or the other spectrum of that, you can have your boyfriend, you get what I'm saying, who's a conniving ass nigga, you get what I'm saying, that's gaslighting you to pieces and trying to make it seem like it's everybody else's fault and everybody else's problem. And it ain't, no, 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 it's me, you, you worry about you, you worry about me, I got your back, these bitches this, these bitches that, and now you in a place where you're like, well, damn. Is it these bitches? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, listen, I'm telling y'all. So, another negative reason is um, your boyfriend knows you care about your friend. Or, you know what I'm saying, your girlfriend knows that you care about your friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I feel like you have so, like, sometimes you have men that are so narcissistic. Um, and sometimes just not, mm, I feel like narcissistic, you know, but maybe selfish i don't know or i don't know what that is you know just kind of want to to yourself i feel like still that's kind of nar narcissism right um but they 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 kind of they see your work as a as a woman they see how you pour into others not just your friends sometimes probably even your family members right or people that's around you um and they love that but they don't love the fact that you're giving giving it out to other people except them you know what i'm saying Y'all, I'm not really a red, red, red wine drinker, but baby, Altos, I think that's how you pronounce it, Altos, is it back? Baby, <sighs> I, this, is, this is the most smoothest red wine I have ever drunk, like ever. So baby, this is definitely going to be on my list, okay? If anybody's interested, like I said, I think it's called Altos, A-L-T-O-S. It's a Malbec, um, Terraza, Terraza's de, de La Andes. I think I said that right. If not, darling, I'm still working on my class. Be with me, okay? Bear with me, sweetheart. But like I said, yeah, um, you know, your boyfriend knows you care about your friend. And you know what I'm saying? He don't like that. That's fucking with him because he, fe he feel like at some point, you know what I'm saying, if shit hit the fan, You got your friend back probably over him. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't a thing, you know? Like, nah, you're going to have my back before you're going to question this bitch before you question me, you know? So that's another reason. Another reason is um, people don't want to hear the truth. Um, that's another reason. Another reason is people do not want to hear the truth. When people say, um, 
you know, like when you at a point or when you, when you, when you, when you're not in a relationship anymore, like I said, when you are at a place where, you know, you're seeing it from a different lens, you're seeing, or, you know, sometimes too, when you are single, you know, you, you have time to kind of like pour into your friend a bit more, right? Because you're not in a relationship and you're not tied up and wrapped around with your man and, you know, in your life, right? So you have time to kind of, you know, hang up probably more with your friend, right? And you get to see like, this nigga talk to you like shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, who is he calling a bitch? You know what I'm saying? Or how he speak to you is so, um, it, it's, it, it's like he belittle you. You know what I'm saying? And when you get to that, when you kind of, you, you know, when you, when you see it, you know, as a friend, you're like, friend, I don't like that. This man, you know, he is, he talking crazy to you, you know? And to her, she like, in her head, girl, Bitch, you single, so now you coming over here with all this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You want to cause problems. You want to cause ruckus a ruckus because you want me to come and support your act bad summer. Okay? We ain't doing that. But in all actuality, it's just like, no, friend. I just, I was so wrapped up in my own life. You know what I'm saying? Now that, you know, I'm hanging out more with you, I get to see that this nigga is not fucking with you the way he, he act, like, you know, the way he think, you know, or the way you think, right? And sometimes, too, what it could be is that your friend, your the girl, you know, your friend that's in, in a relationship with the man, she's seen it. She knows it, right? But she's okay with it. And the fact that you coming over here, you're disrupting her fucking her, 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 um, okay? It's a false damn narrative, but she's okay with living her false narrative. Let her read that, that damn false ass story, okay? She want to read about the red, little red riding hood? Let her keep believing it and reading it. Let her keep, wrap, let her wrap her ass in that goddamn red goddamn uh, coat as long as she wants to. Let her do that. That's girl. Let her do that. I'm telling you, okay? Another reason is, um, Sometimes that's the one of, one of the biggest things that I've learned, um, not just in relationships, but just people, period, is people don't necessarily, when people call and talk to you about certain things or come to you about certain things, people don't necessarily want um, a solution to the problem. They just want to vent. They don't want a solution. They're not looking to fix the issue. You know what I'm saying? They're not looking to find a why. They're just looking to just talk about it and get back off the phone and act like nothing happened. Okay? That's what people want a lot of times too. And I think for me, I'm, I don't know. Uh, for me, I, I had, I'm learning um, in situations how to deal with that because I'm solutionary based. I'm a very solutionary based girl. Um, I, I And especially like with me too. And I think people that know me, like my best friend, she knows I'm one of those persons where when I'm dealing with something, it takes me time to process it because I'm such a solutionary person that if I'm going through, like when I'm going through like rough times in my day, like, you know, my hard days, I'm not calling because I'm trying to find a solution to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll call after the fact once I've figured out the solution to the problem, right? So, again, I don't know if that makes me a bad friend, but I know that I am I had to learn how to realize that everybody don't want a solution, that everybody don't want the problem to be fixed. You get what I'm saying? And... I'm about to say that I'm not a good friend, you know, if I'm always, if I always want to fix their problem when they don't want to fix it. So I think I had to learn that, um, or I had to learn to ask, okay, is this a conversation where we're just venting, venting, or we're trying to find the solution for this problem, right? So that's something that I'm, I'm learning and that I do as well, where, you know, I would ask my friend, like, okay, what are we doing here? Like, do you just want to talk about it or are we trying to do something about it? Okay, because if you're just trying to talk about it, then all you're going to get from me is a, mm, I'm sorry you feel that way, babe. Oh my God, are you okay? Like, I'm going to be concerned, but I'm not going, to, I'm just here to listen. That's it. I'm just here to listen and to kind of give you that little stroke, right? I think for me and a person like myself, who is, again, as a solutionary person, 
You only have a certain amount of time to come with me with the same problem, though. Respectfully. Respectfully as the, the person that I am. I don't know. It's just that, you know, if it works for anybody else, cool. But the person that I am, don't come to me six times telling me about how this man and cheating on you six times. The girl didn't pull up to the house. The family didn't pull up to the damn house. It's like, you know what I'm saying? The girl didn't pull up to your job. Like, it's just getting extra and deeper and deeper and deeper. And on top of that, I am also a friend. I'm a protector. Like, I'm, I'm a... I'm not just saying that to be like an asshole as the, like, I am a, I, I love my friends. My friends, I'm like, for me, if you are my friend, you are my sister. If I call you a friend to me, um, and I don't use that word a lot. I, I put, I put names to name to, you know, I put people in their right perspective areas. Okay. If you are an associate, you are an associate. If you are a coworker, you are a coworker. If you are my cousin, you are my cousin. I put people in their right, respectful areas okay so with that being said if i'm calling you my friend you're my sister to be quite frank with you i don't use that word a lot um i don't mind or i don't mind meeting somebody or we're going out and somebody say oh well y'all look like y'all friend i'm like no that's my associate i don't mind just so people know you know be they're very aware that okay this wasn't that type of relationship okay hello so shit go hit the van i will i remember her saying you know that she 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 mentioned on an associate you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I, I'm going to let you know what you need to know. Okay? So like I said, if I call you my friend, you are my sister. Okay? You are my sister. You are somebody that I care about. So if you're coming to me with something, and especially like when you're being hurt, like I'm talking like you're crying on the phone or something's bothering you, bro, as the person that I am, I can't just sit on the phone and just be that ear where you know you just want to vent after the six seven time because i'm gonna get mad i'm gonna get pissed yeah i get mad at boyfriends too period because you're not gonna play with my friend you know what i'm saying and then for me i feel like that's when i i can overstep a boundary and put myself honestly as well in a situation where I don't want to put myself in. I'm not, I, I was going to say where I shouldn't be in, right? But at the same point of time, I had a choice. And um, I'm learning to choose <laughs> peace instead of violence, right? And I'll be honest with y'all. I don't know. I don't know. This might sound mean, but those type of friendships do not, um, don't, don't please me anymore. Those friendships do not, like a person the way you're just not, sure right and you know it's things in my life here honey i'm still unsure about but when it comes down to the love that you are that you deserve at some point um it's one thing when if you say friend i don't get it i don't know why i'm acting because then okay we want, we're looking for a solution in that sense and that's like okay let's let's figure out the solution i i'm down with that right but when you're in a place where you just dizzy dora you gonna have to you gonna have to do the do the do door ahead ass put yourself find you boots cause I'm not hurt. Mm mm. I ain't Diego. I ain't boots. I'm not the map nor the goddamn um um backpack. I ain't none of them. I can't go on that journey with you. I refuse to go on that journey with you, right? And as a friend, I mean, I'm sorry, or the friend that I am. If I choose, if I continue that route, do I really care? like the person that I am? I don't know if that works for everybody else, but for me, I don't I don't give a shit. Like, I, I don't give a shit. If, if I'm okay with that, then I don't give a shit about you. You know what I'm saying? Um, then I have here... Um, my last thing I have here was... Oh, that's my last one. I have two other, other point, another point after that. But it says, think you want... They think, think you want your man. Right? I remember I had... <laughs> This is like one of my very first like friendships, y'all, in high school. No, it was like middle school. No, well, we, we started our friendship in middle school, but um, we, we we was friends for years. Um, so we graduated to separate schools. Uh, well, I ain't graduated, but she graduated. Um, but, you know, basically we, we got of school at this point. Um, and I'm going to try to skip to it. Long story short, she was dating this one guy. 
And I, when I tell y'all, I y'all, when I tell y'all, I remember being so happy for this girl because this girl, this friend of mine in particular, she was like the girl, and she was like the wild card in school. You know what I'm saying? Like in school, and her family had money, you know. So, and I went to private school um, back um, on the island. So, you know, child, a month, I think a month, every month or two months, I think it was like $750. 750 850 something like that like almost $1000 basically for um for our school fee and for me honey I, like I said I'm a hood baby so others you know they probably like oh that's not a lot child for me a hood baby baby that was a lot okay but for her family like you know they was kind of well well off they had like a um I think like a trucking company or something like that so long story short she used to like um in school she would like buy her love like she would pay literally boys um school fees like she would literally steal her mama and her, her grandma credit cards and pay for their school tuition dog like literally um but that was my friend like i didn't care like that's my friend like let her do her dumb shit like that's don't care you know that's what that's what make her happy she she like it i love it but when she got into the relationship with the um when we got out of school with this one boy I felt like he was kind of like on her level, you know what I'm saying? Like he had a good job, he had his own place, you know what I'm saying? He had like a couple cars. So I was happy for her, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then us being young as hell, like he was he was way older than us, but we was just, you know, we would just ride around, honey, in his car and just, just be wild, you know, we, just, he was, we was outside, you know, on the red light, twerking on the headlight, you know what I'm saying? On the red light, twerking on the headlight. So we was just having a good time um, and, Long story short, shit hit the fan with them one day. Shit hit the fan. It went bizarre. I remember. I uh, well, that's a different conversation. We'll talk about that. But long story short, this girl went and told her like when she hit the fan, she told her she told her boyfriend that I wanted him or I was trying to fuck with him or I. Like, I wanted her man, basically. She told her friend that I wanted... She told her man that I wanted her. That She told her man that I wanted her man. Basically. Right? And let me tell y'all, honey. When I tell y'all, that took me... That swung me from one loop to the next. Because I'm such, like... When I tell y'all, I am a... Especially back then, I was a ride-or-die friend. Like, I don't give a damn... A grandma say something to my friend, she might have got knocked out. Like, it was bad, you know. So long story short, when she, when I heard, well, when I heard that she was saying, or she went around saying that I wanted her man, baby, when I tell y'all, piss is not a word that I was. Pissosity was beyond what the fuck I was. Okay, if I could have just got her goddamn neck and just rip it just into two pieces right then and there, just like a teddy bear, I would have. Because, girl, did you just tell somebody I wanted your man? Like, what gave you that? Like, what gave you that? And I literally sat that, I, I, you know, I remember, like, literally going down, like, the time. Because he didn't really have a lot of time where I hung out or we all hung out together. It was like whether, you know, either she was dropping him off to work, you know, and, you know, we going to do our ball head whole shit after he go to work. So, you know, we would probably, me and just like other girls as well, be in the car or when she was picking him up for work, we'll be in the car, something along those lines. But it was never a thing where we hung out so much, you know what I'm saying? And then when we hung out, I don't remember, I can't, I can't tell you no instances where it was like, I gave you, a, and then for me, anybody who knew me, especially back then, I was such like a, I was a tomboy, you know, like I was like the, you know, I was rough around the edges. So I can't flirting like, the, it could, and it came from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck gave you that? Like, I wanted your motherfucking me. Okay? But I had to learn that you have females out there in real life, even in our grown age, honey, grown, grown age we is, that have this persona or have this thinking or thought because they love their man so much or they, they this man is whatever to them. They feel like their friend feel the same way or think the same way. I don't know. If I, that, do that make sense? Do that make sense? And if y'all ever had an instance like that before, please tell me. Because I know for a fact, fact that I'm not the only one where a girl, like your friend came back and said, I, I wanted her man. Bitch. Me. 
Like, come on. And then, like, anybody who know me, like, I'm, rep like, especially, like, again, back then, my, reputa my reputation was, you was not. And, you know, again, coming from the island where, you know, it's a small, you know, like, your name can travel like this, okay? So, what you not, like, my name, like, if somebody, you know, would go around and say, oh, you, you ain't gonna play with her or that girl, a hair crusher or something like that. I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that, you know? I didn't mind that, you know? But anything as far as, like, me being a hoe or, you know, like, me being, like, anything wild, you know, sexually, I would beat you. I would, I would beat your ass and that's on P and now okay who is P I don't really know so if that was something wrong I said please YouTube do not flag me um yeah so yeah I was like damn like that's really a thing you really have girls out there that really feel like you know bitches be wanting they motherfucking me <laughs> bitch so last is I have on here is um Friend, when your friend only calls when it's negative. Um, yeah. That's another reason why. But just love to sit there and say, oh, don't take, don't take advice from your single friend. But bitch, when you only call me when shit go, go, goes down, though. You only call me when shit hitting the fan. That's it. That's the only time I hear about this man. That's the only time I know about this man. You know what I'm saying is when he done cheated on you. When he done threw something at you. When he done call you out your name. You know what I'm saying? When he ain't came up with his half part of the bill. You know what I'm saying? Or, or his half of the money for this or something like that. <laughs> but 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 I'm the problem though. But you shouldn't take advice from me. Hmm? Hmm? Because I'm sick. Hmm? It don't make sense, baby. It don't make sense. Maybe you need to stop calling my motherfucking phone, baby, when shit ain't working out for you, right? So I don't only know the negative part of this nigga, okay? I don't, I, so when I see him, right, now, and then you have females like that when, it's, you know, like, you know, when, when you when you are a friend or, you know, when you a diehard friend or you care about your friend, sometimes you can, when a person come around, same thing like in family, with family members, when, you know, when you come around, you just kind of have, like, this little, mm, towards them. You know what I'm saying? Because I know your dirty secrets, baby. <laughs> I know who the fuck you really is. You know? And then the dude looking like, well, damn, like, what the fuck I done did to her? You know? But this bitch in the middle, she like, I don't, that's just, that's just how she is sometimes. You know? Then here he is giving his two-piece, well, if he gonna come, she gonna come around like that, she don't need to be coming around. You know what I'm saying? Not even knowing. This bitch the problem. You the middle man. You the problem. You the problem. You shouldn't take advice. Bitch, I shouldn't be taking advice from you. I should be listening to your, I shouldn't listen to nothing that you telling me. Don't call me with your problems. Because now you making me look like I'm the motherfucking problem. You see how that shit works? It always falls back on the single bitch. <laughs> never fails, honey. It never fails. We always get the blame. Okay? But honestly, y'all, I just feel like, Seriously, when it comes down to, you know, taking advice, I don't believe that there's nothing wrong with taking it. I personally do not believe that there is absolutely nothing wrong from, I'm nothing wrong with taking advice from a single person. Um, it just depends on where that advice is coming from or who that advice is coming from. If that person isn't here, if that person is running around on the At Bad Summer tour, okay? Um, I'm going to be partaking a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not partaking the way y'all think I'm partaking. I'm just going to be out there, you know what I'm saying? We're looking real cute, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be out there. But seriously, those ones that's not, you know, doing the work and, you know, don't have that, um, that's not doing the work on their mental, um, it, that is not um, intentional on how they deal with people, right? Um, then, yeah, you shouldn't be taking advice from those type of people. You shouldn't be taking advice from somebody who got a sugar daddy, still fucking with their baby daddy, um, still fucking with old girl daddy down the street, you know what I'm saying? She fucking with all kind of daddy, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be taking advice from her. I get it. Why would you take advice from her? 
right? But if that girl is single um, and she is abstinent and you know that girl is abstinent and she ain't holding it, that ain't like she abstinent because she can't get none, but she's abstinent because she know the worth of herself, right? Um, that she done been through, through some things, right? Um, she done got hit upside her goddamn head. Hello? Um, she done got cussed out. She done, she done got all type of, you know, bitches and hoes, niggas calling all kind of this and that and that and that. But she's not having those rela relationships again intentionally, right? Um, why, why not take advice from her? Why not take advice from the person that's doing the work, right? Why not? Because, like, again, you're in it, so you're seeing it from a different lens than the person who is healed, right? And who's probably went down, down that road, right? And can give you some 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 clear advice, right? Not a foggy advice where, you know, girl, I'm in it, you know what I'm saying? Child, I'm dealing with the same problem you're dealing with, right? So, and then, you know, sometimes too, we get advice from people that is, that is having the same trauma, that both, both of us getting our ass whooped. Why the fuck we gonna give each other advice? Well, how, how? Tell me how. I'd like to know. Seriously, right? So again, if you're taking advice from people that's not doing the work yet, um, don't take advice. Don't take advice from nobody, not just single people. Don't take advice from marriages that, you know, that's toxic. Don't take advice um, from marriage, married people that's toxic. Don't take advice from pastors that you know that's doing, you know, shit behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? Don't take advice from nobody. Don't take advice from your mama if you know your mama outside and why, why, why and all outside. Why? Like, come on now. It's just not a single thing. It's just a, it's just, I feel like it's just an obvious thing. You know, don't take advice from people that's not doing the work. Um, but like I said, I think a lot of times too, that it's just one of those situations where sometimes people use that to stay in the, in the relationships that they're in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, child, she's single. So she ain't know what she's talking about. So I'm going to stay right where I'm at because she don't have a man. So what can she teach me? Okay. <laughs> you stay there then. You 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 stay there. You, you do that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be over here minding my business and do, been doing what I've been doing. Okay? I ain't getting cussed out. I ain't getting cheated on. I ain't getting knocked inside my head no more. Ain't nobody using my car and telling me they're going to pick me up after when, when I get off of work. So you can do what you want to do, boo. How are you doing? Shit. Like, no, y'all not finna stress me out about all that. Like, oh, no, no, no. You did. Uh, girl, you do what you want to do, baby. Do what you want to do. I'm going to say it again. People love to sit there and talk about, oh, don't take advice from single people. Don't take advice from single women. Don't take advice from single. Y'all toxic ass relationships. You toxic ass married people. Don't be giving advice to heal ass single people. Uh-huh. To people that's doing the work. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what you can do. Stop. For real, for real. In real life. Appreciate that. And that go and that is from the entire healed single committee. Bitch. So, new segment. Y'all already know the new segment. <laughs> Y'all know, um, know the new segment, y'all. The new segment is, what are you done thinking about? And what are you thinking about? So y'all already know how that works. So what are you done thinking about? What are, what am I done? It's over. I ain't got time for it. Sway, put it in the box. Put it, put it on the floor. Put it on the floor, bitch. Put it on the floor. <laughs> and then what are you thinking about? You know what I'm saying? What you got going on? What's in the making? You know what I'm saying? What's on your mind? With good in the hood. Yeah. So those are the new segments. So y'all ready? What am I done thinking about? What I am done thinking about, y'all, for reals, for reals, for reals, deals, deals. I am done thinking that I cannot obtain the body that I want in the gym. I'm done thinking that. It's over. I'm gone. Benito. Bye-bye. Done thinking that. I'm done thinking that. Um, it's hard. And is it hard? Yes. But can it be done? Yes. I can absolutely obtain the body that I want in the gym. It is, it is um, heat. I can see it. I can reach it. I just got to do the work. I just have to do the work. 
um just keep it focused anything that i do and i know and i believe that truly that i can whatever i put my mind to it can be done i know that i know that it can happen i know that it can um and i've been seeing the results from it you know what i'm saying i think a lot of times too what being disciplined the beauty of being disciplined and obedient sometimes is the results the, just the, sometimes just the, the the little results right if you can you know stay disciplined sometimes for six months the sometimes the the result isn't drastic sometimes the, the results can be so minute but that little um change can be that push you know what i mean to that next level that that walks or, or, or guides you to that massive change. I don't know if that makes sense. So that's what I am done thinking. Out the window, gone, bye bye. Oh, the window is the door is back that way. Psh, out of there. And then what am I thinking about? 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 Honestly, y'all, I see. I read this. Um, I was actually listening to um the North Shore this morning, yesterday, one day, I'm not someday. Um, and Wallow, I think it was, was it Wallow? Was, I think Wallow was on there and he was talking about podcasts and when he started it and he said that on one of them, somebody in the, in, in somebody in the room, y'all said that, um, most podcasts do not, um, go past their seventh episode. Most podcasts do not go past their seven episodes. And I'm like, oh, what? Huh? you know like wait <laughs> what a minute are you kidding me most podcasts do not go past their seven episodes there's seven podcasts um and i don't know i think i'm like on my eight, eight 19 19th i don't know which one i'm on with that being said y'all i did get to the point um of feeling like you know feeling like a plateau just feeling like um questioning myself um and i got like i said i uh, talked about it um at the end of last week episode where i got a bit discouraged um because of stuff that you know didn't work out what what something that didn't work out but i'm learning that man you i'm it's gonna be so much nose it's gonna be so much things that don't, don't does not work out but being obedient and being disciplined is what's going to make it work period um Walking with God and being in my purpose with God, um, if I'm with him, honey, if he's with me, who can be against me? Let's talk about it, right? So I think for me, I'm just at a place where I'm not allowing um, um, naysayers to, to, um, to get in my way or to give their opinions. I'm just going to do it regardless. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to get done. Regardless, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna get to the top, to the tippity, 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 tippity top. I speak that I will have influence um, and prominence in Jesus' name if that's in His will. Okay. Again, I only want it if it, I only want it if it's in His will. Um, I see myself as this big person um, with this big personality, but I'm at a place in my life, like I said, I'll say it again, that I only want to see what God see. I only want to do what God do. I love somebody. He want me to shut up. He will shut me up. But I don't think he put all that in me, all this in me for me to shut up. You know what I'm saying? So, what I get, like I said, we just gonna keep doing it. We just gonna keep doing the work. It is what it is. Let's get it. Let's go. What's down, pal? Mm hmm. Yeah. So you guys just come on, cheer me on. Make sure you got follow. Make sure you guys, you know, like, leave some comments. You know, tell people about the podcast. Tell people, let people know. You know what I'm saying? That 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 that, that we here. All right. Last but not least, you guys, what is the beat of the week? The beat of the week for me. My beat of the week. Y'all tell me what y'all be jamming to. You know what I'm saying? Like what is what be in y'all tunes? Have you got on the Afro beat scene yet? Like, what well, if you didn't, what are you waiting for? Y'all know how I am about my Afro beats. And y'all thought I because if y'all thought I stopped, you lied. <laughs> didn't stop you know so my beat of the week you guys is from burner boy it is called sitting on top of the world okay sitting on top of the world top of the world top of the world top of the world how about he made me stop the world top of the world top of the world hey i love that song so much so so much y'all gotta um check it out it is from burner boy sitting on top of the world 
quick, quick, quick. Did y'all catch the Afro scene at the BET Awards? Well, y'all already know, because, you know, I can't bypass it, you know. But I feel like by the end of the day, I, you know, our Caribbean music is, our Caribbean music has already put our stamp on it. The stamp is, it's, the stamp has been stumped. Okay, so and y'all know, like I said, um, you know, Jamaican music is definitely still a part of our culture in the Bahamas, it's especially you know, with the younger generation, dance hall culture, all that, like that's a thing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, the Caribbean music, the Caribbean music has been Caribbean for a while, we've been Caribbean, and you know, you know, so I love, I love seeing Spice, um, on there doing her thing, you know what I'm saying? Skin out me, pom pom, skin out your ass, clap, pom pom, girl, skin out your pom pom. Skin out your bomba clot pom pom. She did her thing. She did her big one. Yeah. What's up? That's how you doing in the islands. What's giddy? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I love, I just personally, like I said, I love seeing the whole black, you know, the hip hop mixing with the Caribbean and the Afro beat. Like what? I just love seeing. It was like literally three cultures on that stage. And I, I lived for every freaking moment of it. Okay. I love you guys so, so much. This was a very, 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 very good episode. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, real, real, real quick tea, quick tea. Cause I got like four minutes to go. So let's talk about it. Y'all. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. This wasn't even gonna be the topic yesterday. I had a whole nother topic yesterday. The topic was supposed to be on friends. Fake ass friends. Um, not really fake ass friends, but we can talk about that in another episode, y'all. I ain't, I want, I ain't want to do them this week. I, I want to, I want to thread lightly. You know what I'm saying? Give them, give them some time. Give them some time. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be a new month. Give the bitch some time to, you know, to get comfortable and pay her rent. You know what I'm saying? So I had to, you know, let it air out just a little bit. Okay, but I felt like this topic was pretty on, was honestly pretty, pretty good. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, please let's talk. Let's let's communicate with each other. This is a community. What are we doing here? Okay, we thinking about it, ain't we? And let's talk about it. All right, y'all already know what to do. Don't you forget, honey, to tell a sister, cousin, brother, auntie, uncle, niece, great, 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 great cousin on your stepdaddy side. Because people don't talk about the stepdaddies. Let's let's give the shout out to the stepdaddies. You know what I'm saying? Because we love the stepdaddies. Okay, especially the stepdaddy that be stepdaddy in. You know what I'm saying? You're not just there with my mama because you were my mama, but you actually in my life. Like, I fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to tell me that this is the thing about a podcast with your girl, Nisi. We out, poo.